And the Hawaiian monarchy establishing a line of succession was vital. Kamakapili has more in tonight's Aloha Authentic. Around the islands, if you're driving, riding as a passenger, or just walking down the street, we all make use of our roadways. But when was the last time you paid attention to their given names? Our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets across the state so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something new about Hawaii. This week, we learn of who would have been Hawaii sovereign. In the Ahupua'a of Waimalu, which lies in the moku of Ewa here on Oahu, stands a street whose name is the Hawaiian word for throne. We're talking about Nohoali'i Street. When David Kalakaua began his reign as king of the Hawaiian kingdom, one of his first acts was to name his successor. Two days after ascending the throne, King Kalakaua appointed his younger brother, William Pitt Leleo Hoku, as heir apparent. Unfortunately, though, three years later, the popular prince succumbed to rheumatic fever, never to fulfill his role. On the same day of his passing, Princess Liliuokalani, the king's sister, was named his new heir apparent. But in the case she was unable to fulfill the role of sovereign, the king established a line of succession. Following Liliuokalani was the one considered the hope to the Hawaiian people, Princess Victoria Kaiulani. If the young princess couldn't serve as monarch, then the king's consort, Queen Kapiolani, would have become ruling queen. Next in line to the throne was the queen's sister, Princess Poomaikelani. If she failed the role, then the Hawaiian kingdom would have gone to Prince David Kawananakoa, then to his brother, Prince Jonah Kuhio. It was assumed that if the crown was bestowed onto them, they would continue the title of Kalakaua, being numbered in numerical order, just like the Kamehamehas. Did you know? Now you do. <laughs>